What's up nerfers? This is Alan from OC Nerf and we've got another package from Mass Carry here. This is an Amazon company and I have their new package of um, tactical gear and darts. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. This is what comes inside of the package inside of this um, zip and kind of zip pack here. Let's see if we can just pop this open. And inside <clears throat> it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, quite a lot. Quite a lot of stuff. Let's just get it all out. Okay. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six packs of these 10 darts. And these are this uh, 60 pack. Let me grab one of these darts out and see what we are dealing with. Okay, so this is interesting. If you guys have seen my last uh, review on Mass Carry's product, um, which I'll have a link to right up here, you'll note that I had mentioned they were using the hard tip darts, and these are not the hard tip darts. These are definitely the soft tip, uh, very close to Elite. The material is a plasticky material that's a little bit stiffer than the rubberized material that Hasbro uses, but it is got the air hole in there in the pocket so these darts would be safe to use um, I'd say so that's pretty cool that these darts I'm assuming all of them yeah they all seem to have the soft tips so whether they changed it for other reasons or they listened to that last review um, they went ahead and updated those the next thing that's obvious on here are the magazines we've got a 12 I'm assuming we'll find out it says 12 on the packaging and I'm assuming that's exactly what this is. So this is a 12 round magazine. Pretty stiff. Let me grab something to push it down. Okay, so I've got a all right. Probably could do with a little bit of lubrication. Um, it seems to have a pretty good spring on there. We'll have to give that a test. There's a couple of holes you can see it right in here there's a couple of holes in there um, but otherwise this looks like a clone of your M strike 12 I'll grab a blaster in a minute to put this in and see how it's doing it still even has the 12 in there obviously the notch here don't recall if the 12s had the bumper pads but this doesn't have it um, but the construction feels about the same it even has the directions on which way to load your magazine. And let's grab these six rounders. Yep, yeah, feels about the same. Ling Yun Zi. If you can see the logo on there. Uh, six, this one's a little bit more obvious. And again, yeah, probably could do with a little bit of lubrication on all these. Um, and that should be fine. This doesn't have the holes in it, interestingly enough. The other one is a duplicate. Yep. Again, could do with some lubrication. Um, same logo and insignia on there. Let me go actually show it to you on that side. And then we also have this pack here. which if you saw the last review on Mass Carry's products, you've seen something similar to this as well, which is a wrist strap of some kind that holds darts. I've actually got an actual Elite dart here that I wanted to put this in. Seems to go in just fine. Friction fit enough, probably wouldn't fall out. Doesn't really squeeze too much, so that's pretty good. Um, I've had the issue in the past, if you've watched the channel long enough, where sometimes these are not the same size on every single one. Uh, but this one seems to be pretty consistent. Yeah, okay. So these seem to be pretty consistent. Uh, not quite sure if it's going to fit. Barely, sort of. Um, so if you've got smaller wrists, this will probably fit you just fine. We'll go ahead and put that there. It also came with safety goggles in this 
blue coloring. These are probably universal size. They don't look too big. They don't look too small. Um, I would guess more of a young adult or a, sorry, a youth to an adult size. I don't think kids, younger kids um, would be able to use this. They might, but it might be a little bit big on their heads. So we've got that. We've got this interesting pack with instructions on it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh, cool. So this is more like a bandolier, it looks like. Let me just pull the instructions here. DIY cartridge belt is what they're calling this. Yeah, it looks like you can wear it around your waist or wear it around your, your chest. Pretty simple and self-explanatory. It's got an adjustment setting on here. Doesn't probably adjust too much larger than this. Maybe about three inches larger than what you're seeing here. And again, let me grab that Elite Dart. Seems to hook in just fine. I'm really kind of curious what this belt might work for. Huh. It would be really hilarious if this worked for another blaster, as if this was perhaps cloned from another blaster. I almost want to say maybe some of those Dart Zone blasters. It even has a hole in the back. Interesting. And it has another clip here, which I bet... Yeah, yeah. You could length chain this. I don't have any of the chain-fed Dart Zone blasters, but I would be... It would be hilarious if this actually worked for that. Um, and if it was chainable, like this is right here. Uh, that's pretty cool. And it just kind of hooks on to that last piece here with this elastic loop. Pretty small and thin elastic loop. But it does go around that last link. And that's what holds it in place for you. The buckle is a solid piece of plastic and it's very large. So that's nice. Again, just so you can kind of see. There's the hole in the back where you can kind of load these. I would, it would be really interesting if this actually works in a blaster of some kind. Um, I, I will have to do an update video in case that does become the case. So there's that with the instructions that it came with. It also came with this $5 card of some kind. To qualify for $5 Amazon gift card, how to get it. Okay, so possible thing there. I don't know if that comes with all packages. Um, this looks like a magazine carrier. <clears throat> yep, it is. Okay. All right. So this maybe goes around your leg and then this hooks onto your belt. Yeah. So this is something that you can sling onto your belt. It's got capacity for two. I think this is the correct way. Yeah, that's the correct way. So it holds magazines down, holds them quite snugly. They do only go one way. I noticed that uh, just like in the other magazines, mag magwells, I don't know if you're gonna see it here because it's all in black, but the back one is a little bit larger than the front one here. Um, so you will have to only be able to put this in one way. These nubs here, I'm guessing correspond. Yep, they do. There is a um, retention, spring retention nub right here where these bulges are that hold the magazine at the notch. So there's no way these magazines are gonna go anywhere. The fit is pretty good. The insignia is stickered on there. I think that's a sticker. Or it could be etched in there. Uh, yep, it's got your uh, uh, belt loops for this. And it's just got a plastic kind of clip. Surprisingly, Solid plastic, that's good. Let's check the attachment points here. The fabric seems, eh, all right. Non-stretchy fabric. 
Let's see how the stitching is done. Okay, so this is Velcroed. So it's connected here, Velcro. So you can actually take the strap off if you want, if you don't want it. You could take off this belt if you don't want it. You could probably just attach this like a Molly attachment. It looks like these might even come apart. Maybe if I unhook the bottom. Yeah, okay. So if you unhook the bottom, you can slide it out through the top and then you can loop it back in. So this, this front part, you can kind of stack them. And here, sorry, I don't actually use these in my loadout. Um, so that's kind of cool. So you can kind of modularly stack them. But that's pretty nice. And as I mentioned, they do retain them rather well. So that's cool. Let's check out this here again. Similar fabric. Good plastic. Okay. Yeah. It seems like it would hold up pretty okay. Tension is, is pretty good. Uh, no complaints there so far. Quality seems to be good enough. This looks like a bandana or face mask of some kind with a skull. So let's pull this off. Yep. It's got the half face. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely just for your face. You kind of slip your head in here and uh, have this covering half of your face. So that's interesting that you can use it that way. So you get something to cover your face right there. And then the last pack that they have is the tactical vest. <clears throat> this looks to be one of those typical copies of the elite vest. Ew, very small. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to put this on because there's no chance in hell this is going to fit me. Um, definitely going to be for a kid, but let's check it out and see what it's got. Uh, um, so we have two spots here, could be for magazines, a rather tight fit, but it does fit for the magazine here for both of them. That works. Okay. Let's pull that out. And again, You've got extra dart storage here. Dart storage, I'm just kind of spot testing the dart storage. Okay, some are a little bit tighter than others, but they do still hold into place. Like that one's pretty tight. That one's a little bit looser. It's not bad though, they're loose, but they're not bad. As in they could still hold the dart and this one I don't know, that one's just gonna squeeze the dart. I wouldn't put a dart in there. This has happened to me in the past where uh, the off-brand companies that make these dart holder things like this are a little bit inconsistent. So your mileage may vary regarding how much use you can get out of these dart holder things. Uh, this one's definitely tight. Um, magazines and stuff is very small. This whole thing is very small, um, so. I'm not even going to try to wear it for you guys. Let's see, there's a Velcro mesh area here where you can try to put something. You can see my hand in there. Um, so more dump storage for other darts. It has a tag marker here, just like the rival vest. This was not on the Elite or the End Strike vest where you've got your tag marker vest. You can kind of see, oh, you've got two lives left or one life left. Now you got no lives left. So you can kind of do your tag marker here and be visual about it, which I actually like about the um, rival vest. So if you were playing a game of three, uh, 315, for example, um, where you've got three lives or any kind of game where you've got three lives, you can use this vest for that. Let's take a look at the back. The back is all mesh except for this top shoulder part here. Uh, although the backing is still mesh, so that'll give nice breathability. And it looks like it's got the sword holder spots here across, or perhaps just other retention things, but it looks like you could probably hold melee weapons in the back there. It's got a clip here. So again, 
you've got your double here on this side, double here on this side, and you've got a, another plastic clip thing here, similar material as the rest. You've got an adjustment on the side here, so you can make this a little bit larger, um, but not large enough for me. Uh, or you can make it a little bit smaller too, as you can pull this around even more. Um, so there's that. This might actually fit on my son, so that would be pretty cool. Get an upgrade to his vest. Um, he's still using the old dart tag vests, which actually have worked pretty well. If you're taking your kid out to a game that has some higher FPS to it, um, nothing with you know no FPS caps like we like to play, but even ones that are super stock or whatnot, having this vest or even the uh, old dart tag vest in particular actually works really well because that stuff is really protective that darts just kind of bounce right off of it. So um, works pretty nicely. Maybe not so much the back here, but that's pretty cool. So this is what it comes with. The quality here of the stitching and pulling on it seems to be okay. I'm not particularly pleased with how the uh, <clears throat> dart retention stuff works out because, well, it's always been an issue for me but the Velcro seems to work out fine. The size of this is definitely small, so if you're looking to purchase this for an adult or uh, an older child, don't. Um, <laughs> uh, get them perhaps a different kind. I know there's um, other companies that sell off-brand ones if you don't want to grab one directly from, from Nerf um, that have it in a larger size, or maybe even Mass Carry has one in a larger size. I don't actually know that, but this one is definitely child-sized. So we've got a pretty good child-sized vest here with a lot of features. Um, not quite as much storage as an actual and strike uh, tactical vest, as it's only got the two mag carriers here. But it's small, it's fun, it, it's usable. Um, and as I said, the material seems to be pretty okay. So there's that. So this is all the materials that come in this one package. I'll have a link to the Amazon uh, purchase page for this particular set, but it is uh, marketed as a starting starting set for um, your little tactical nerfer. So you've got a little bit of everything to kind of get you started. Um, let me go grab a blaster and test these magazines, and then we'll call it a day. To test, we've got a recon, which will have the same retaliator style magazine well, and we've got a strife. So let's pull out these magazines. Test it in the strife first. Seems to be a good fit. Perhaps tighter than expected, but nothing bad really. It's a good fit. Okay, no problems. There's no batteries in this strife, so I can't actually test its function, but there's no issues there so far. Similar fit here, no problems. Let's test it in my uh, recon here, or recon taliator rather. Oh, that's a nice smooth fit. That's really nice. I bet that'll drop out. Yeah, it will. Okay, same thing. A nice drop out. Nice, okay, so that fits in really well. Let's grab just a couple of darts. One, two, and three. And let's just see how it cycles. This is also running the core hybrid, which uh, takes both half and full length darts. So it seems to be okay. Yeah, seems to cycle just fine and drops out just fine. So uh, there it is. There's the pack from Mass Carry. Again, I'll have their link in the description box below. If you have any questions regarding any of the uh, things here that you want me to further test out, um, again, I'm super curious about that belt. Uh, if anybody recognizes this belt and would like to help me identify a blaster perhaps that this was modeled after to test, I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Uh, that being said, thank you guys for watching and Nerf on everybody.